gone right. Is there anyone in there? Or are you just an animal? Superman is fighting amongst the people that love and adore him. This is Superman in the fight for his life that we've never seen him before. It's a lot more emotionally shattering when the end finally comes for him in this movie. We've got 30 seconds. You need to fire engines now. In this movie, Doomsday is a bit of a mystery. You take all of the dangerous elements of Superman, remove the conscience, put it in this vessel that can channel all that anger, rage, and power, you have Doomsday. Doomsday is a threat that they've never seen before, they've never faced before, even more so than Darkseid. We've really got a bigger group than we've had for any of these movies before, fighting just one entity. So the more they battle it, the stronger it gets. We raised you so that you could be yourself. We didn't raise you to be alone, honey. This movie is a lot about relationships and the different kinds of ways relationships present themselves to one person. We see more of Superman's world. Doomsday Superman is something that the DC fans are very familiar with. We really wanted to warrant retelling this story and putting it in this continuity and in this universe. This movie is actually the first act of what the first original movie was. His plight at the start of the movie is whether or not to share his life further with Lois. I feel like it scares you that I might get to the truth. Clark Kal-El, Superman. Taxi! He's got this identity crisis kind of going on. Do I stay human? Do I, do I be the hero? Do I let Lois in? There's a reason why I'm so secretive. And? He's willing to not only admit finally that he's in love with this person and make this connection by revealing who he really is, but then on another level, he's willing to sacrifice all of that. We have other characters that weren't in the first movie. We incorporate the Justice League in this movie as well. Okay, next up. A lot of their scenes in this movie are basically scenes where he's asking their advice. Aren't you worried? About what? About bringing her into your world, the dangers. The sacrifice. Lois is us in this movie. There's something very vulnerable about that. Hopefully that's an element that the audience can relate to. I feel like I say this a couple of times a week, but thanks, Superman. I don't know what we'd do without you. We definitely wanted to touch on the idea that Superman's existence, who he is as a person, affects everyone. <laughs> Superman! In this movie, we introduce Bibbo, who has no real connection to Superman other than he's a, a huge fan. How about a picture for the joint? I really feel and the producers do a great job of setting up that likability from Bibbo, that relatability and... <laughs> Stupid thing. The story of him being saved in connection to and all the other characters. Say Superman! Superman! And so he's our touchstone in the story that connects this story to what fans feel about Superman. Hey, if you ain't got a place to go, you can stay with me while Superman cleans this clown's clock. Real justice isn't reserved for some. It's everyone's right. Jerry O'Connell, who voices our Superman, has done a fantastic job. And Lois in this movie really had a very pivotal role. And so for us, it popped into our heads that Rebecca Romaine would be a great choice. Thanks for the ride. As far as their connection as being husband and wife, I think there's a familiarity there. Are you sure you're not just getting old? You'll have to tell me what that's like. Ha, super touche. It was just so much fun to see them bring that to life. We need you, Clark. Jason Amar is our Batman, and again, returned in this continuity of films. You know, really comfortable in the role. Batman, zip line. Shamar Moore has been cyborg since Justice League War, and he comes in with such enthusiasm. Where is that monstrosity? Rosario Dawson is so much fun as our Wonder Woman. She just really brings not only the toughness, <laughs> uh, but the humor where it's needed. Towel? I don't sweat. Maybe not on the outside. No real thoughts. It's all aggression, 
All about the fight. A killing machine. In the comic, the fight was staged very, it starts very wide, and we progressively get tighter and tighter and tighter, and the panels get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so we wanted to kind of replicate that feeling in the movie. Superman has an emotional investment in stopping Doomsday. The idea that he may not survive is the first time he's ever had to deal with that kind of emotion. There's a point where we see the realization in his eyes. This is a thing that he may not be able to be. As a fan, I want to see that depth and, and the idea that this sacrifice feels like it was given the weight to mean something. To try to push for something different was, was a really, really fun opportunity to do on this movie. It fired off on all cylinders, like, yeah, let's really bring something unique to this, but also have it still feel very reminiscent of the comic book. The death of Superman was something that I think comic book fans thought was unthinkable. It gave fans a chance to realize how much the character means to them. I'm blown away by seeing Superman that vulnerable. He's willing to sacrifice to save not only Lois Lane, but everyone. The biggest hero in the world can be killed and anything is, can happen in this universe. If anyone's watching this, send help. No, 